a little bit of time. Uh, I'd like to call this meeting of the Board of Elections to order. If everyone would please uh, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Horton. Here. Mr. Spagel. Mr. Winarski. Here. Chairman Bale. Here. Megan, can you try and uh, send resend a link to Mr. Spagel via his phone, please? Thank you. We're going to continue. Um, at this time, is there anyone from the public that would like to speak? If so, I'll give you three minutes. If you just state your name and municipality. My name is Brad Tepper. I live in Erie. I'm a judge of elections, and I want to express my great appreciation to the elections department, especially Tanya and Sue Sheffield and Jim Surpak for making it. I was out of my polling place by 8 39 and i was left the county before nine o'clock in prior years it was after 10 before i got out of this building so and and it the way things are set up it's so much easier to delegate responsibilities to the other poll workers which makes a huge difference also so thank you very much also not as a poll worker as a as a member of the public, just like you, I've read about the recent court decision by uh, Judge Paradise Baxter. And so I'm hoping Erie County is pretty reasonable in how they deal with curing ballots, but it would be very great in the future if we don't even have to deal with curing ballot, um, mail in ballots that aren't dated or that are misdated when the information really serves no real purpose. So I look forward to that. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe it's time on Turn it If there is no one else I would like to speak, I don't want to interrupt. Sorry, we were having an issue with the uh timer i think it's uh on its last leg or something happened to it the alarm was going off so i uh, guess okay. please just uh, give your uh name and municipality and uh your time will start okay um my name is mary rennie i live in the city of erie as the former chair of the board of elections the integrity of the elections was always first and foremost in my mind in 2022, the Commonwealth provided us with an opportunity to receive election integrity funds, and I'm proud to say that we were enabled that we were able to invest those dollars into the infrastructure of elections for years to come. And I second the uh, sentiments of Freda Tepper in saying that it's it's an investment well spent. Uh, when I left the position, I knew that the elections were in good hands because of these tools. Unfortunately, a lack of attention to detail can, can destroy all the benefit of the extra time at the end of election night that these very tools provide in the first place. The fact that the results link was initially posted on the county webpage as election 2024 starts to really make one question how something so simple could go so wrong especially when some of us don't accord voters the same simple consideration. What's even more concerning was the initial posting of results at the end of the night. What I have is a results cover sheet that is time stamped for 7.59 p.m., even though larger print in the center of the page states that it was produced at 8.01 p.m., this red flag just adds to the conspiracies and could be interpreted as a violation of the law. It's very concerning that we would have such a discrepancy in such an important part of the election process. 
The main discrepancy, however, brought to my attention is a major compromise in the integrity of this board to allow someone to vote by an emergency ballot who did not qualify for one and even bragged about it out in public is a critical concern. What makes it a huge red flag for election integrity is that he was not only on the ballot, but is the chair of county council that oversees this office. That application he completed is considered an official election document and fabricating the reason on that form is a clear violation of the law in falsification to authorities. This is in no way a reflection of the new county clerk and she should not be held responsible for this as yet again, this is one more example of ignoring an issue through the elections department and the board of elections, thereby making it worse. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else from the public that would like to be heard? Anyone online or in person here that would like to be heard? Last call for anyone that would like to be heard from the public here or online. Hearing none, we'll move on to number four, which is the election. Okay. Um, Councilor Lewis, you have the The voter registration office processed 23,042 mail ballot applications. Of those, 19,042 ballots were voted and returned. We also recorded that 42,579 votes were cast at the polls on election day. In total, 35.77% of registered voters voted in the 2023 municipal election. We received 191 provisional ballots. 143 were fully counted, 42 were partially counted, and six were rejected because the voters were not registered with our office. It is evident that since the introduction of mail ballots in 2020, the voter participation in our local elections has increased significantly. Election day was a huge success. Electronic poll books were utilized at every polling location throughout, the, throughout Erie County. A representative from No Inc., the manufacturer of the poll pads, was present on site to help our staff and poll workers troubleshoot. The most common issue was, re was receipt printing errors, which was an easy fix. The electronic poll pads have allowed us to record voter participation and record time. This process used to, make, used to take a month to update, which has led to problems in the past. Our team has carefully verified that the number of electors signed in at the 149 polls on November 7th matches the number of ballots cast. Also, Jim Cherpak, Karen Chilcott, and I have conducted a thorough reconciliation of each poll, making sure that no voted ballot was unaccounted for. Um, I wanted to thank the Board of Elections for purchasing the mail sorter and the electronic poll books. These two pieces of equipment have proven to increase election integrity. The voter participation history has been updated and the results that we are presenting to the board today are true and accurate. Thank you. Uh, members of the board and the public, I would like to add that we did two recounts for this election. We did a recount for Washington Township Council and another one for Lawrence Park. So for the Washington Township um, position, we recounted, rescanned almost 23,000 ballots and the results did not change. In fact, only one vote was different. And in the Lawrence Park uh, race, we recounted all the ballots for that as well. And we were off by two write-ins and on one race and one write-in on another, which is that's our human eyes looking at the right ends and there was a little discrepancy on only a couple of votes. So I am extremely impressed with the technology we have and our election team. I think that the elections were seamless. 
Um, I couldn't have asked for you know more succinct operations really in the department. And I think that also gives voters that confidence so that uh, the procedures that we have in place here are good, sound, solid procedures. Thank you. Megan, did you have anything that you wanted to add from your perspective? Thank you both. Uh, I can't uh, say enough positive and I, I can't uh, bring back enough positive comments. I hit several, uh, probably nine different uh, maybe more polling sites and everywhere that I went, it was nothing but positive comments for the office, the process, the equipment, uh, heard from Ms. Tepper. I, it's, it's impressive what, uh, you guys continue to do. And I have the utmost confidence in, uh, and the Erie County residents should have the utmost confidence in the process and how you guys, uh, process, uh, these votes. So, Thank you, uh, Erie County, the residents of Erie County. Thank you. And uh, any of my uh, colleagues online that would like to uh, speak, Mr. Horton, Mr. Narski. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Mr. Winarski, anything? I'm good also. Just to follow up with what you had, uh, election night was spot on. Uh, it does make the process a lot simpler when after a long day at the polls, when the pollsters are coming in, uh, I could tell them by the looks in their faces that they really appreciated the quick in and out. So once again, kudos. Um, and uh, Tanya, Karen, great job all through this whole process, not just the uh, election night, but uh, this uh, it's, doesn't go unnoticed. So thank you both. And I know Charlie, I did have one question. Were there any issues with any of the contested ballots that we hand selected at the end of the evening or did all that go smooth through? Everything has been, everything has been uh, counted uh, appropriately and no, no issues. Thank you. And again, appreciate everybody with a great effort. Worked out very well. Thank you. And, and the, not to rest on their laurels, I'm sure that there's still some processes that uh, it's weak. And this is Karen's first time here. And I know that it's good for her to see this through. Next year is going to be a, a busy year. And uh, to see the process and, and put your own uh, maybe things into play with it. So I know there will be some discussions on how we can continue to improve. Because you know, I know we're always looking for perfection. and. You know, it's seldom achieved, but we'll, we'll continue to, to work toward that. Um, if nothing else from my colleagues, nothing else from uh, either office regarding the elections, I'll uh, I'll take a motion for, well, if you want to go over, actually we'll move on to the certification of results. Yeah, I'll read out the, the state races here that we have. Justice of the Supreme Court, Carolyn Carluccio. 30,348 votes. Judge of the Superior Court, Jill Beck, 33,014 votes. Judge of the Superior Court, Tamika Lane, 26,838 votes. Judge of the Commonwealth Court, Matt Wolf, 32,134 votes. And Judge of the Court of Common Pleas, Pete Sala, 35,341 votes. Any questions from uh, Mr. Horton, Mr. Spagel, Mr. Wernarski? Any comments, questions, concerns? I'm good, thank you. No, none here either. I'm good as well. Anything else, uh, Karen? Fine. Okay. At this time, I will accept a motion for the certification of results. So moved. Second. Properly moved and seconded. Uh, roll call vote, please. Mr. Horton? Yes. Mr. Spagel? Yes. Mr. Wynarski? Yes. Chairman Bale? 
Yes. With that the motion passes and we have certified our results. Anyone else have anything that they would like to add at this time? If not, I'll take a motion for adjournment. So move. Second. Meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all.